What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to AWS On Air Live from Reinforce 2023 in Anaheim, California. Here, we have a few of my friends that are joining me to talk about AWS Jam journeys focusing on security. My name's Aaron Hunter. I'm a technical trainer with the AWS Training Certification Team. And I'll hand the mic over to uh, eeny, meeny, miny, <laughs> mo, Kyle. Hey, I'm Kyle Dickinson. I'm your neighborhood friendly senior security solution architect that focuses on threat detection and incident response. I did that slower that time. It was a little, it was a little bit slower, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and Sam. Yeah, hey everybody, I'm Sam Biggins. I'm a principal solutions architect on the Jam team. Just excited to come talk to you all about this uh, hands-on gamified come learning. On and slam. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's he's at the jam. jam. <laughs> <laughs> so Sam and I, we streamed the Jam Journeys on Twitch episode or series. It was four parts. Mm -hmm. And we're here to talk about the security side of AWS Jam. That sounds epic. I'm also biased, but that sounds great. I mean, security is always priority zero, right? So top we're priority. already here to say. Top, top, top priority. Top priority, priority Sam. Zero. <laughs> yep, yep. Uh, ground level, I, I don't know. You know, and I'll say personal personal story. I got addicted to the AWS jams when I first attended reInvent in 2019. And I was just like, oh my gosh, these are so fun. These are so awesome. And so to be able to create a couple security jam challenges uh, is a epic thing, but also, being able to talk to you about security jams here at Reinforce 23 in Anaheim, California, even more awesomer. I did that intentionally. More yeah, awesomer. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I'm watching the chat right now, and I see our friend Robert Tables. Hey, hey Robert. How's it going? Hi, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I see that you have AWS Jam Journey on Twitch pulled up right now. Should we talk about that first? Yeah, let's jump okay. in. So hopefully everybody can see this up. So as Aaron mentioned, we just did uh, the four episode series on this. And, and what we did is we give everybody a chance to, to kind of jump in and try this out. So if you haven't done Jam uh, before, in the first episode, we're going to give you a lot of the walkthrough, how to get started, and just jump in and play. And then each of the following episodes, we were giving everybody some home fun. Home fun, not homework. That's right, because it's not work, it's fun. And uh, you give you the opportunity to play it. Of course, now you can go in and play it for yourself and or you can watch us and, and some guests play through it first. Uh, we had a lot of fun. Yeah, so we had Dom in episode two. We had, uh, who was it, Justin on episode four? Yep, Justin. So Good. So what was episode one about? So we know about the series, but let's talk through each episode for a few minutes. Yeah, so episode one, let me scroll back up here. So episode one was just kind of the intro. We talk about Jam, we go in, we, we give you the mechanics of it, and we'll talk a little bit more about that while we're here. And then episode two, we went in and talked about running multiplayer video games. That was really cool. Games are really near and dear to my heart, so I'm always excited to share that with folks. Then, uh, what was episode three? What did we do on episode three? Uh, something with data? I yeah. Bet you yeah. predicted the future with your data. We yeah. did. We attempted to, at least. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so we had did some analytics. I think that was actually, you know, I snuck in a little, little game theme into that one as well. And then uh, episode four, we, we had a little different twist. The focus was on machine learning with uh, Amazon SageMaker. That was a fun episode. That was really cool. I wasn't sure if Justin was going to get it because of all the tasks that were in that challenge. I think there were five tasks, which is kind of a lot. Yeah, that is a lot of tasks. It was down to the wire. But it was. He yeah. pulled through. We had Rom uh, as a guest as well, who had built the challenge. He he definitely helped us out. Yeah, he gave us uh, some clues without having to use clues. I think we kind of cheated. <laughs> hey, it's the Jam magic, right? <laughs> and those that aren't familiar with the Jam platform, when you need to, you're just like when you're stuck. The final clue is the total walkthrough. So you can do this in like a competitive nature at AWS events, but if you want to use it as a learning experience, you can challenge yourself, but then like when you get stuck, you can you know, move on by using the clues and then the final the clue. The final clue is the full walkthrough? Yeah. I had no idea. Yeah. I don't think I make it that far. I've been, I've been hiding it from you, just, oh. to, just to keep you on your toes. <laughs> all, right, all right, all right. Yeah, so no, <laughs> what's really nice, right, is I think that's what I like about Jam, is that when I go do you know, the normal hands-on lab that you do anywhere, you know, kind of do like, well, today we're going to talk about security, and you're going to go click on I am policy, and you're going to type this in. My brain goes on autopilot, right? I'm like, what did yes. I just learn? I just did 20 steps, and I'm like, I, I forget <laughs> what I was just doing. I learned that I can follow directions passably. But with Jam, we, we give you some documentation. We let you get in the, the AWS console environment. And so we let you get hands on and try to think your way through it. But we do want you to succeed. So if you get stuck, there are the clues that help you get through it. And I think generally it's a lot of fun, good format to, to try yes. different things out. Yeah, and it's in a safe space too because you're not needing to run these challenges in your own environment. It's using yes, a different the AWS account. Jam platform yes. that creates it for you. So you, 
you can learn with confidence without accidentally thinking you're going to turn something off for your company. Yes. Yeah, it's always great to, to not test things in production, as uh, I've been told a few times in my career. Let's Just agree to disagree times. on that. <laughs> <laughs> so we know episode one, two, three, and four. We know all of that. But go watch the entire series. You can watch them on demand. We can see that on the screen right here. Um, by the way, I'm watching the chat, and I see the call out for the awesome interpreter over here. Great job. Yes. Thank you, interpreter yeah, glad team. Glad you're here. Yes. All right. So let's go ahead and talk more about Jam security or how people can learn about security with AWS Jam. Absolutely. Yeah. So so security's always been a big part of Jam. You know, the folks that started it were kind of were inspired by the capture the flag style things that have always been in the, the security industry. And so in this case, we we actually have one just for the folks watching. Uh, we have a challenge that, that Aaron's going to be able to share the link here for. So this will give you a chance to jump in and, and do your own security thing. Now, obviously, we're here at Reinforce. And at, at all these big events, we usually have a live event going. So if you ever come to one of these conferences, look for us, summits and things like that. We'll have a jam lounge going where you can come and do a whole bunch of them. And then we also have like competitions where you can bring your own team. And if you really want to like get into it, we have, uh, we have opportunities to compete there as well. That sounds really fun. So there's a couple here, Data with the Stars. Can you walk us through what this one is about? Yeah, absolutely. So in this one, um, what we've got is this is about healthcare data management. And so one of the things I really like, you know, that we've started to do more and more is, is not just talk about the services, but, but talk about the the uh, you know sort of the industries uh, that sorry, are related. I'm getting yeah, distracted. I don't know why yeah, Kyle's what? laughing over here. What's going on? Oh, just the overview. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right? Yeah, so it says a common issue in healthcare data management is internal users, other, whom otherwise should have access to PHI, let their curiosity get the best of them. I don't, I don't find that very funny. They hear a famous person in, or has been in their facility. Oh, I got to keep reading. Okay, got yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got to keep going. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which, I mean, it's a fairly relatable thing, right? It I really think is. People get excited about, yeah. you know, folks, and they just want to learn a little more. But, I mean, that's a pretty serious it, breach it of is. privacy. It yeah. is, because, like, even though they're famous, they still have some privacy. They still have privacy needs. So locking it down and maintaining security around who they are, where they live, what their phone numbers are, their personal information is, is kind of critical. Yeah, and this yeah. is, it looks like it's going to be your part of the healthcare compliance team, you want to make sure that oh. you're following HIPAA compliance. Yeah, HIPAA processes. compliance too, yeah. Uh, and then, you know, all this stuff is stored in the way that it should be for this kind of data. And so, I mean, we love reading overviews and all that, but I feel like there's some more cool things that we could do, such as the first task. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So I don't want to give it all away, but I definitely want to give us kind of the anatomy of what this is and then let everybody who's watching go try this out for themselves. But you know, this comes back to what I was talking about where you're going to see we're giving you the tasks. We're, we're even, in this case, giving you the United States code. I think that's some really detailed documentation link we're handing out here. Yeah. But, but what I like is I think the way when I build Jam challenges, I like to build them as if I was mentoring someone. And the way I think about that is I'm going to say, well, here's the documentation. So when you forget everything else I've told you, you can go look it up in the documentation next yeah. time. And then here's all the pertinent details that you need to know to go do what you're going to do. So in this case, we've got two users with IAM accounts, user A and user B. And the, the goal is restrict user B completely from seeing or interacting with data in, a, in an S3 bucket. But we want user A to have full access to that bucket. So okay. we're going to mix a couple of services there, right? And then I think I saw like S3 and IAM on there. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And there's a few more because you can see. So there's there's three different tasks here. So what's going to happen is um, we've got this first task validation that says, you know, once you've done it, check my progress. But what we want you to do is put these two things in, and we're going to validate it. So what's cool is once once users have done this, it'll automatically be able to detect that they've done it. So you get like the two thumbs up, and then they know they can move on to the next task. Yeah. yeah, OK. And so there's a couple ways that they can answer these questions. One is that there's something that's automatically validating that the thing has been done for that task. Or there might be a flag that you enter, and then it says, OK, yep, you are good to go to the next step. Um, and to that point, it's, uh, you know, one thing I do recognize and want to call out, too, some folks will poke around at this and say, hey, I don't have access to do this. Well, that's because you shouldn't be doing that thing. Uh, we we kind of guide it like a, a maze to where you can fr r roam freely, but you're not going to be able to go literally everywhere. Yeah. 
Absolutely. Yeah. One of the ones that I liked, Aaron made a comparison at one point, you know, kind of comparing it to like a virtual escape room, right? We're putting you in the yeah. console, we're giving you access to services, but we're, we're asking you to kind of figure your way out of the puzzle using the things that we're giving you access to. Yeah. So I see there's a question in the chat. I'm, I'm keeping an eye on this. Kel DK is asking for a link to these challenges. Do we have a link that we can share? I think we should, yeah. Hopefully right, we so can drop that in here. Kel, Kel DK, I just dropped a link in the chat, so go ahead and check that out, and then you should be able to get to the challenges, play around with it, um, practice pr securing PHI and HIPAA data, and keep the stars nice and safe. <laughs> oh, I thought it was space. <laughs> I, I, I thought it was like da data with the stars because you got Sam over here who's like a rock star. Oh. <laughs> like, no lie. <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah, hanging out with uh, hanging out with some big big hitters here. Yeah. So one of the things I do want to point out, we kind of talked about it a little bit, but you can see for the users here as you go in, in this case, there's three clues. So if you get stuck, usually these are kind of in order of uh, increasing helpfulness. Okay. So there's kind of usually a mildly, mildly helpful one, uh, a medium helpful one. One. The last one's always the answer. So if you can't figure it out, we want you to get to the end. This will be like the lab guide, and we'll help you get through to the next task. Pretty now, cool. okay. if you were here at a live event and you were competing, the only thing that's going to slow you down there is if we take away points when you do clues. So I, don't, the, I, don't, I don't like that idea. <laughs> so the maximum amount of points that you can earn is reduced. Yes. yes. Exactly. But the idea is when you're competing, you're playing with a team. So what we're really encouraging you to do is ask your teammates, right? So maybe everybody's playing different challenges on the team. That's when you huddle up and say, hey, everybody, take a look at this with me. Let's see if we can unblock and this. It could get intense. Yeah. Like it literally, could. it's intense. Well, it was intense in the parking lot at reInvent. Now it's actually in a... <laughs> I, I see what you did there. I love <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah. I love it. So what's cool, like, we're here live at Reinforce uh, in, Anah in Anaheim, and you said they can score points. What do they do with those points? What happens on the, le the leaderboard and everything? Yeah, so what you'll see is uh, we've got a booth going where we're watching all day long as teams are coming in and going for that top spot, and so we'll see the points coming up. And I can see if I can pull that up here real quick. I was going to say, can you tell us what the scoreboard is? I, would, who's, I would love to. Who's rocking out? Yeah, let's see who's who's doing it. And so if we go to our, our dashboard here. So right now we is can see. Is that the see, one for live right now? This is live, yeah, what? over that, in the Jam Lounge, who right? Is, who is Britiv? Because they're kicking butt. Yeah. So we've got Britiv. We've got Laminar. Laminar. That's a, a team here from Israel. They're, they're, they think they show up to a lot of events. They okay. get real competitive, too. And they're beating Skynet, so thank you for that. Yeah, Ooh. right? Yeah, we've got to keep Skynet yeah. at bay. Yeah. So here you can see this is folks playing playing out over time. So we can see some of these folks came in early and really got after it, and then yeah. some of the folks are still doing it. To keep it interesting, we, we release new challenges each day. So uh, 11 o'clock today, they're going to have some new ones to try out. We're really excited for that, but makes it a fun, and, fun experience. And new events come with new challenges regularly, too. I know leading up to these events, there's always like, hey, we're creating new challenges, which is amazing. It keeps the content fresh and challenging, but also we're coming up with new services and yeah. features regularly. Yes. You mentioned what well, there was like 20 new feature releases at the keynote. There yesterday. were a, there were a lot of what's new pages. There was a lot. Yeah, a lot of updates, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot to keep up on, but you know what we're excited about is that at some of the events like KubeCon for example, we had jam challenges right after the talks. And so yeah. when you go watch stuff, you're able to come and get hands on right away. That's always been my dream. I see this cool stuff and I'm like, that's great. I want to go play with it. So we're trying more and more to get that in front of folks just so we can get right to the right to the magic. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm getting distracted by the chat here again, okay, because <laughs> let's face it, when we're streaming live, Sam and I, or Kyle, uh, Kyle and I, we, we watch the chat religiously, okay? So I see that there's AWS, JTF, I don't know who you are, let me know, send me a whisper or something on, on Twitch. It says Kyle Dickinson, you see this? You got a fan out there, Kyle. And they said Aaron, the one, Aaron Hunt, hi. I don't know who that is. And then we got Sam. Sam Biggis, don't forget Sam. Or Shout maybe Sam I should out. just in case, hi, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So moving over to where they can start learning more beyond just jams, or maybe is there another platform that they can learn and go deeper into additional courses in the catalog? Yeah, so in addition to coming to live events like this or working to, to have this hosted at your own you know, company site, one of the things we offer through Skill Builder is what we call Jam Journeys. And so what's really cool about these is, you know, if you kind of want to take away maybe the competitive element, you're the kind of person who just likes to really dig in and think through these at your own pace, uh, these are available on Skill Builder for Skill Builder subscribers. So I've got the, I've got it up here on the screen. I think uh, Aaron, you probably have a, a link you're dropping into chat there. Just dropped it in there right now. Perfect. I love it. 
And so with a lot of these, you'll see we've got different themes. We've got things like database, networking. So even, you know, as, uh, as Kyle mentioned, for especially reInvent and reInforce, we're always creating new content. And so one of the things we've done is we've re released what we call the best of reInvent. So if you missed reInvent, or even if you went and you wanted yeah. to do stuff over again, uh, there's opportunities to go play it. And then you'll probably see a lot of the content from reInforce here come out in a similar vein. Can I put in a feature request to play the worst of reInvent? Because I really <laughs> want that challenge. Like. I would love it. Maybe okay. maybe that comes in season two. Okay, maybe. Now, what is <laughs> what is your definition of the worst, as in like the hardest and least solved, or yeah, the one that people just couldn't solve? I want to see if I can solve it. I have I have one for you that's particularly in mind that takes a couple hours to solve okay. on, on the security jam what, side. What is it called? The galactic, the galactic Rickledge Rick escalation. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Famous or infamous, depending on if you've solved it or not. Yeah. People <laughs> love it and hate it. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out there. I'm gonna try it. It's great. It's great. Well, and to your question, right? So the, one of the great things is whenever you solve a challenge, we ask you not only did you like it and did you learn something, but we said how is the difficulty? Because we're always trying to calibrate this in. And so you know, I think there are times. You know, that one it has a high rating, but we realized that part of that reason is you know you can always go rate them if you if you go into the feedback yes, tab. Yeah. But by default, you have to solve it to rate it. And so it gets high ratings because if you passed it, you accomplish something. Yeah. You're like, this was it is, it a yeah. life experience. It's a grinder. Mm -hmm. like, but they can also do like free forum text and say like, this was so challenging, but so fun. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and that's, and that's how we know we act, they actually enjoyed it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> awesome. So what do we have here next? We have a few more minutes. Can we walk through a couple of these? Uh, I see our clock is counting down here. Let's walk through a few more and then we'll wrap things up. Absolutely, yeah. Let me uh, see if I can jump into one of these and just talk about some of the some of the other jams we have available. Yeah, cool. So this one says selected challenges of reinvent security 2022. So pretty recent, about six months old. Yep. Yeah, I feel like you know this is a big theme for us is security. What we're here talking about. So if I come in, uh, I'll just kind of show you in some of these. We will often have um, you know just some of the extra text here. Let me go ahead and uh, enroll in this. And while you're doing that. Um, People can probably use this as a platform to kind of test their knowledge before they go for a certification as well. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I think this is the thing where, you know, once you get through those early learnings, you're kind of getting familiar with the console and you're ready to have that sort of like, I want to try it for myself and see how far I get. It's that perfect kind of level in that medium phase, right? Yeah, and I believe even some of the ramp up guides, like we talked about the security uh, ramp up guide, the updated one, and yes. it has links to particular workshops and jams too. Yes. Yeah. And so, again, different modalities of learning makes it more accessible for individuals to learn the way that they feel most comfortable doing so. Cool. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, so as we come in here, if we look at the, the challenge sets we've got here, and to your point, we did that with the, the games. There's the games learning path on uh, Skill Builder. We actually built a lot of the games challenges kind of in collaboration with that team, you know, trying to get that interplay, right? Because it mm -hmm. is, you, you, you know, it's never just one thing. You want all the, the different modalities to yeah. be able to absorb it. All the things. Yeah. So what's great, so I'll go ahead and uh, like if I launch into this here, we'll see it. So again, so for those of you who haven't, uh, again, if you've never played a jam, if you go watch episode one of the Twitch stream, yes. we'll give you kind of the rundown on how to log in. We're kind of skipping over that part here. Um, in this case, we're going to pull it up. So here we see some of the same stuff. So we actually pulled Data with the Stars, which is the one that we've released for everybody free here. That was out of the best to reinvent set. I wanted to make sure we had one of our, our new and, and cool ones here. But there's a lot of different things. So you can see there's there's easy and medium challenges. I think in this one, just all of our best ones were that. A lot of times there's some hard ones out there. And you can kind of see the topics, right? So if you're trying to do, like in this case, maybe cloud formation or things with S3, we can kind of pick and choose and, and find the right place in terms of the things we want to engage with. Okay, okay. I like pain, so I'm going to go with the hardest ones first and then figure it out from there. There it is. You know, I think for, for my money, if I'm ever looking to <laughs> challenge myself, I feel like I am is always going to give me a run for my money. It can, yeah. Oh, did you see in the keynote yesterday they said I am, uh, what is it, the API calls for it? Is one billion per second? Yeah, it's it's a very. very I had tax full API. on like mind exploding head reaction at that moment when Becky called yeah, that out. Yeah, it's amazing. That is impressive. Yeah, a billion a second is a. I, I mean, if you think about what that would look like on a sheet of paper. Yeah, I A M has one billion API calls per second. And I am mind blown at that. <laughs> I am uh, running out of time. With I you see guys. that. Yes. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and wrap up here. Stay tuned for more from AWS On Air. So, uh, check the links in the chat and reach out to us if you have any questions. And check out the Jam Challenges at any AWS event. Oh, and follow AWS On Air on all the things, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook. Wait, 
Do you have a Facebook, Debbie? Is there a Facebook? Okay, I don't know. No, nope. figure it out. No, all, all the things. No Facebook. Hi, everyone. <laughs>